Hello everyone, my name is Shelby. I'm a first year high school business teacher and this is one week until school starts. I'm currently eating lunch, Sonic. Um, why not? Um, this past week and this week, um, which would be August 1st through August, I think, 5th, um, all PDs for our school. Um, it's the long dreaded ones, but you got to get it done. Today, I have been setting up my accounting notebook. Um, my accounting notebook is a, a tool that I really am going to stress this year. Um, when I was in high school, I had an accounting notebook. And when I got to college, I took it right with me. And I think that they are so essential for really any subject that you think that kids would need in college too. And they can just take them along with them. Like that is big for me. So I've got a whole, here, let me show you. An entire bookcase full of composition notebooks. And so my accounting my accounting class will have their own composition notebooks, take it home, study it, take it to college. It is theirs. Um, I'm not going to be taking personally a grade on this. Here's why. My classroom management and classroom philosophy is I am building students for their future. I will not hold their hand. So if they know that this will be a resource for them, if they utilize it correctly, then they should already have that initiative to know if I give them something, put it in here. Um, it will have a table of contents. I'm currently labeling the numbers of the pages. Oh, I didn't label that one. I skipped a page. Whoops. But I am um, numbering them so that way if I go hey, the accounting equation's on page three. They can just flip to it, you know what I mean? And if you're not utilizing that resource, you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense and I'm not too harsh. But I'm super excited. Um, my classroom is coming together beautifully. Let me show you an overview. This, because I'm trying to get through it, get through it. That's my classroom and it's looking fantastic. A lot of my teachers and admin thought it was hilarious that I've been able to cover up all of the Pepto-Bismol walls. That is our joke here in the district is it's the Pepto-Bismol walls. But I think it is coming together wonderfully. I love it in here. Um, I've been able to <clears throat> make a space that like kids can come into and they're gonna be able to be comfortable and have a I was watching the five foot one teacher and the way she described her classroom was perfect. I was setting up the mood for the classroom. Like, I think that is perfect. So that is, that is what I feel. It's my mood, so to speak. But I absolutely love my classroom. Like, I'm literally obsessed. So here in a little bit, I have to go to my last PD. But I need to get to lesson planning for the week. Um, next week is the first week, August 8th, and I've got this much planned for the whole week. So, <laughs> I'm going to get there eventually, but not right now. One thing I wanted to share with you on the first day or first week activities from the five foot one teacher. I know I've heard this from several different teachers, but it's the one word project and you will just have a stack of index cards. I'm gonna cut these down a little bit, not to make them so big. And that's what I'm gonna use that other bulletin board. I'm gonna display their one word of the year and it's gonna be up there all year long and I'll give it back to them at the end of the year. But I just think this is gonna be such a good, I don't know, I guess reminder all year long to strive for your goal, so. I'm super excited about that, but that is my update for right now. Um, I don't think I have anything else. I still haven't gotten my pocket folder chart thing from my mom yet, but um, someone who suggested that um, said to like make crates for individual classes for them to pick up their work if they've been absent. Um, here's the thing with high schoolers. They're aware if they're absent, they're aware if they're going to be absent, or the day they come back, clearly they weren't there the day before, they should know, right? So, it's just going to have whatever we did that day with their name on it, 
and they're going to go to it and whatever day they were absent that's where it's going to be i'm not going to make it in five different classes that's a lot of work and quite frankly if it's just like two or three students absent a day and there's only two um worksheets in there you clearly have to know one of them is yours right now we will see how that goes that's a trial and error thing considering it's my first year but i think it'll go fine um but i'm setting them up for responsibility you know and accountability and if you're gone from work the next day you have to redo everything that you missed that day you know what i mean so that's just my classroom classroom management and my classroom uh philosophy why couldn't i say that word but that is that is it right now um i got my roster last week at teacher open house i only met three of my students though so it's not like i met like an abundance of them but this may be one of a the most normal that they've had of a year in a while so I don't know but anyways I'm gonna get to my meeting and I will talk to y'all later take you to what we're doing the first day. So when they walk in the door, they see this, okay? And this is the student questionnaire. The student questionnaire is about um, them in general. It's kind of like your welcome thing, but this is gonna be something I'm gonna keep in a binder for each individual class. And so I kind of know what they know previously about school, what they know about business, what they know about anything. I need to know their prior knowledge, but I don't want to get it in a test form because my classes that are being offered this year are new. So it's not something that they're probably used to. But, I hope those resources were fun. I started working on my accounting wall. I'm gonna put some stuff right there. And, um, <laughs> so, I don't really know. Like I, like I said, I want that resource up all year long. But, accounting resources are not as available as a lot of other things are. And so, I don't know. I put the accounting principles up there. I've got... Um, a section that's going to have the more individual, like, in-depth principles, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And I just, it's so much that, like, I don't, I can't just put it on one board. Like, I need to break it up. But I also couldn't figure out whether or not I was going to do, like, a day one we do this, you know, put it on the board. Day two we do this, put it on the board. I don't know. So, hmm, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the day. And I'll put you on a timeline as I do that. So, oh my gosh. Okay. So this is my first day of school. Um, like, step by step for me, I guess is the way to put it. But like, I'm doing on the things that they've got and PowerPoints and all that. With today's day and age, you have, have to document everything you do. And if you don't, you risk getting lit up. And if I've got documentation that, um, hey, no, I did that, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna make sure that my butt is covered. Um, welcome to the world of Shelby. I like to cover my butt. I think that's actually a great thing to do, but who am I? Um, but anyways, Yesterday, I wanted to share something with you that we got um, given in a PD yesterday that I thought was fantastic. So, uh, behavior management is going to be different for every student that you see, obviously. But these are different plans that you can, because they were talking about a lot of data yesterday. Well, this is like plans. So, for example, this is called the, the class pass. Okay. So, like students, some students may have behavior problems for the simple fact that they need a brain break. They need to stand up. They need to move. They need to do whatever they need to do to just 
and then come back to class. Two, three minutes, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Not every student's going to be able to do this. I think it would work with any grade, but it gives you like the report of how to fill it out. And then you can create your own class pass. So that way, if they came up to you, for example, and say, this is the pass, don't ask why this is the pass. Say, hey, Ms. Thornton, I need a brain break. Now I'm giving my whole class a brain break every so often anyways, but like if a student like you see needs one like pretty bad, then like they'll come up to you and go, hey, I just need like two minutes. You let them come over, or you may even let them just open the door and just take a fresh, fresh, fresh of breath air, and let them breathe. I think that is so good. But anyway, so there's a lot of different behavior resources in here that like is documentation. So like for example, school home note. You have a lot of communication with parents on behavior. That's a big elementary one. Um, behavior contracts that the student understands hey you don't get this privilege until you figure this out you know what i mean um, the next one is self-monitoring which is a big accountability one so i don't really know how that would work out check in check out they have to check in with the teacher first time they get to school check out when they leave school now that would be kind of hard in my opinion for for my grade but i mean it could work it could work and then what else positive peer reporting if you've got a student that you trust and you know for a fact that like you can rely upon them to hold the other student accountable sometimes they may not listen to you but they'll listen to their peers so you know it's all about finding your in between for the student but i'm super excited about all the things i'm learning see i told you i was learning i just was getting other stuff done too like my syllabus <laughs> that here let me cover this up but this is my accounting syllabus. I didn't think about that. It printed off crooked. But um, I just put what the description was in our state standards. The course goal, attendance, expectations, materials, and resources that we'll be using. I gave them an outline of the semester. And then I told them about their homework, additional time, test expectations, grading expectations, um, FBLA, which is Future Business Leaders of America, and then Makeup and Lightwork Policy. But I just did that for each of my classes. Like, this is personal finance. Um, my personal finance is a little bit different because it's a semester course. But I have to talk to somebody today about that because <laughs> personal finance, where I'm at, is a just a semester course and in my grade book it is a year course and we also have this like securities and investments class that we could put along with it that they can get certified in wise i don't know if you know what that is but it's good certifications i'm blabbering but like they're good certifications um and then today really i'm just like i said doing more meetings Listen, i understand that first year stuff is Cray cray. I get it. I get it. But I'm losing my mind. <laughs> it is a new day. It is something that my brain cells. Oh, you can't even see me. That's great. It is something that my brain cells cannot keep right here. Okay. So let me show you how I put it all together. Let's make sure I have it all together. Okay. So I start off with my welcome all about me i put the syllabus then the course layout and then my technology agreement form just staple it up it goes in order of at the very end my technology agreement form states hey i've read it and this is what I understand so I mean they have it in order go rip the back page off bring it to me I know they've got it so and keynote when you're printing out forms for people to sign make sure it's all on the same paper so they can't rip it off okay so hear me out I turned off one set of lights so the mood that I have now is just it's so much better I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It just feels more homey. 
especially with the lights like with just the one set of lights on it looks so good so i think i'm gonna keep it like that the one light off i may have it like the first day of school no i'm gonna keep it like this well they're feeding us breakfast here in about 15 minutes and i'm so excited about it and yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and Hopefully my printer's working. I don't think it is, but um, I'm gonna try to get my printer working and working on my my darn syllabus getting printed out. So technology at its finest. All right, scratch that. My technology's not working. Don't we love that? So I'm going to hang up my lights now that that bad boy is ready. So, 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 so good. Um, I mean, I couldn't really cover that up, that little area, but I mean, that doesn't bother me, but that looks so good. It is the first day of school. So clearly I have no makeup on. I'm like rushing to get this done because my life, right? So today is just gonna be Momento. Oh no, momento. Okay, so today is about getting to know me and just putting some like good music on, getting everyone relaxed, feeling good. Lord, I literally am rushing to get this done. School doesn't start for a while, but still. I'm here at the butt crack of dawn trying to get everything done so I don't look like a baboon, but I'm already past the baboon part. Today the thing the kids will be doing a questionnaire for like their um, bell work so that way I have them doing something when they come in. They're gonna kind of just see something on the board that says welcome to my class and then I suppose there's gonna be pulling kids out for like meetings all day long, you know what I mean? Like those usual welcome meetings that they do every year. And then other than that, I'm just chilling today. Pause while I do eye eyelashes. It's a struggle out here. Don't judge. Okay. I basically have everything I need. Um, the biggest things are just getting them into their suits 
I've made my seating chart for them to go into. My desk is really just a hot mess to begin with, but what other part of my life is not a mess? I'm also going to go ahead and get out my syllabuses for my first class, which is college and career. The long-awaited syllabus that took me 10 years to staple. And then I need to pull up things. I'm not stressed. I just, you know, like it's really... <laughs> it's a day but um, I'm not going to be on my phone much today at all except for lunch and my prep I get done at 2.15 that is my prep like I basically just in class early or in school early but other than that yeah I'm just going to have a good time and I'm not even going to worry about it so have a good day y'all <laughs> Hi everyone, it is much later now. It is about an hour and a half after school. The exhaustion is so real, okay? But while I have terrible lighting, I wanna introduce you to um, today's, I wouldn't say sponsor, but I did wanna tell you a little bit about what I was given. So today I got this water bottle in the mail from um, an Amazon company. I will link them down below in my description. Um, this hydrating water bottle, you know me as a coach and to stress the hydration and just drinking water in general as a teacher is very, very hard and very, very needed. So if you see this cute water bottle, you have different times, measurements, different cute motivational sayings for you to keep up with how to drink all day. And what I love about this water bottle is it is so cute and it comes in different colors. So this one is the black and white one in the, I believe, 32 ounce. Um, but you can get different ounce sizes and aren't they just so cute? So if you are interested in getting one, I will link one down in my description box below saying thank you so very much for sponsoring today's video. Hi, <laughs> it is day two of teaching the day is over. And it was a day. I feel like today, not that so many things went wrong, but like, I feel like I failed today. And that is the worst feeling in, in the world. And when I started this channel, I wanted to be vulnerable with y'all to show you the reality, not to be, you know, discouraging of education if for all of you starters, but to let y'all know that there are things that college will never prepare you for, nor never teach you about. And today I had to lay down the law. Today I had to take a phone. Today I had to be a teacher that inside I didn't want to be but I had to be and I literally was so sick at my stomach during lunch I didn't want to eat I didn't I didn't want to continue for the day it just it was everywhere it was a bad day it was not a bad life, you know? Um, it's gonna get better. But I wanted to be extremely vulnerable with y'all. And this is that. Other than that, um, thank y'all so much. I know this is a long and weird video of everything. Um, but this is the first week and it's going to be long and different. So I don't know when I'll see y'all again next. Um, I may be taking a much needed break from everything. <laughs> um, and I'm going to focus on being the teacher that I need to be for my kids. This is very important to me what I do and I don't want to let them down. So. 
just is what it is. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all and I'm gonna be me. And that's that's what I am, so. Thank y'all again for watching the video. I will see y'all in my next video.